but we begin tonight with a major blow for the Democratic Party, New York's 17th Congressional District, which includes all of Rockland, Putnam, and part of Westchester and Dutchess County, has flipped. It is the first time the chair of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee has lost a re-election bid in 40 years. And tonight we've got Team 12 coverage for you on how this race in particular could impact our area and the entire country. So let's get you out first to News 12's Diane Caruso in New City with the latest from Lawler's camp. Republican Mike Lawler has done it, going from a freshman state assemblyman now to a freshman U.S. congressman. A day after the polls closed, Lawler delivered his victory speech on the steps of the Rockland County Courthouse, surrounded by family, friends, and dozens of supporters. Folks understood that we need to restore balance and common sense at every level of government. And I am excited by the opportunity to go to Washington on behalf of this community and this district and stand up for our families. Lawler not only thanked everyone who helped him along the way, he also thanked his Democrat opponent, Sean Patrick Maloney, for running a strong race. Lawler adds he will work to address crime and pocketbook issues while serving in Washington, D.C. Mike does what he says and says what he does. And, um, He's going to be a true great congressman, and uh, we're just very happy for him. We have a lot of hope that Mike is going to really do exactly what he ran for, which is to take care of our families, make sure the crime uh, is addressed, make sure the deficit is addressed, and make sure that our families can afford to continue to live in, our, in Rockland County. Lawler says his first order of business is to introduce legislation that would lift the state and local tax cap. We'll continue team coverage with Nadia Galindo in the studio.